Welcome to this Black Desert Online Xbox One Beginner's Guide to Hexa Sanctuary. In this beginner's guide, I'm going to show you where to find Hexa Sanctuary, what kind of creatures you'll find here, what level and gear score you'll need, what items you'll likely find, how much silver you can earn per hour, and what repeatable quests there are, and the rewards you can earn. I've also put some bonus info in the video for people who watch till the end, so stick with me so you don't miss out. If you want to stay up to date with the latest news, tips and guides for Black Desert Online on the Xbox One then I would like to invite you to hit that subscribe button. Hitting that subscribe button and notification icon means that you'll always be up to date with the latest game information. You'll often hear other YouTubers referring to this place as Hex Sanctuary or Hexa Sanctuary but actually it's pronounced Hexa. Hexa is the German word for witch. The Hexa Sanctuary is in the region that the Hexa Marie is located. The Hexa Sanctuary witches call the dead from their tombs and make them guard the area. The Hexa Sanctuary is located a reasonable distance south of Calthian. The creatures you'll find here are mostly melee, with the one exception of the Skeleton Archer. The melee are the Skeleton, Skeleton Warrior, Skeleton Wolf, Skeleton Lizard, Skeleton Whitmouth, and the Green Orc Skeleton Warrior. The variety of creatures is not vast and the creatures tend not to clump together. Generally there is an even distribution of creatures throughout the area, which means that AoE skills are overall less effective, as you are hitting fewer mobs per cast. The distribution of mobs means a high level of focus is required between individual battles. The elite you'll find here is the Green Orc Skeleton Warrior. The recommended level is from level 50 with a gear score of between 140 and 170. The most common trash loot of value you'll find here is the Sharp Bone Fragment, which sells for 6200 silver each. Loot drops in the Hexa Sanctuary are infrequent, so it's common to only find 150 to 200 sharp bone fragments per hour, but this will still earn you around 1 million silver. The other noteworthy items found here are Witch's Earring, which can sell for around 10 million, and Ancient Relic Crystal Shard, which can sell for 1.2 million. You can earn between 12 and 14 million per hour depending on your pace and luck. The main income source is finding a Witch's Earring. Due to the random nature of loot and its low drop percentage chance, it's possible that you grind for over an hour and not find one, but by the same token, you could just as easily find two or three in the following hour. There are repeatable quests that you can complete both daily and continuously. These quests are obtained from Becca and the continuously repeatable quest will earn you three tokens of promise which can be exchanged for various accessories. And the daily quest will reward you with a mysterious treasure chest, combat experience and skill experience. The Hexa Sanctuary can be a heavily contested area as the profits can be quite large. The Hexa Sanctuary is a great place to grind at lower levels if you're willing to commit to several hours of playtime here. You need to be able to recognise when the area is too contested to be worthwhile and be prepared to find an alternative grind area or server. So onto the bonus content I promised at the start. This relates to the repeatable quest which you obtain from Becca. You're required to kill 90 Hexa mobs in order to complete this quest and in return you'll get some tokens that can be exchanged for earrings. You can just do this over and over again all day long. You exchange these tokens for dim earrings and they can be upgraded to earring of sealed magical power. These things have the same AP as witches earrings initially and can be smashed together to upgrade them at basically no cost. They are no substitute for fully upgraded witches earrings but will help you fill a gap until you get a Sulo gear or greater. What are your thoughts on the Hexa Sanctuary as a location to grind? What score would you rate this spot out of 10? Let me know in the comments. Now that you know about the Hexa Sanctuary, I'd recommend that you click the video that I've put on the screen.